In this video, we're going to learn how to convert a user-defined class type to a primitive type in C++. So if we define a class for, say, representing grades, we might want to take objects of this type and convert them to primitive types, like a double or a car or an int. So let's go over how to do this. The first thing we'll do is give our grade objects a private member variable called grade. And it's going to be a double, so values like 53.4 or 75.6. Then we'll make a constructor to set this member variable. We'll say public grade, double grade, and we'll set the grade member variable to the grade argument. So what we want to be able to do is make a grade object like this. So grade, grade one, 47.25 here. And we want to be able to convert this to a double value by just saying double, double grade one is equal to grade one. So take this grade object here and convert it to a double value. To do that, we'll say here, operator, double, open bracket, close bracket. And here we're defining a function that's gonna return a double value. And we're defining how to convert objects of the type grade to a double. In this case, converting to a double is gonna be real simple because the object really just has this double grade value internally. So what we'll do is just return that. We'll say return grade. Now what's gonna happen here with this assignment is this grade object is gonna be converted to a double value before it's assigned to this double grade one variable. And we can output that variable just to see that it works. So we'll say C out double grade one colon, and we'll output double grade one followed by an end line. And if we save this and run it, we're gonna find that the double grade one double variable is set to 47.25. So we're successfully converting this grade object to a double value. We can do this for other primitive types as well. For example, maybe we want to convert a grade to a car. When we convert a grade to a car, we could convert it to a letter grade, like A, B, C, D, or F, for example, based on the double value of the grade. So this time, we'll say operator car. And now we're going to define a function that's going to convert a grade object to a car. We'll do it based on the grade value here. And we'll have certain ranges that we say are going to be A, B, C, D, or F grades. So we'll say if the grade is greater than or equal to 80, we're going to return the character A for an A grade. Else if the grade is greater than or equal to 70, we're going to return B for a B grade. Else if the grade is greater than or equal to 60, we're going to return C for a C grade else if the grade is greater than or equal to 50, we're going to return D for a D grade. And the last case is we're going to return F for an F grade. We can try to now convert our grade one object here to a car. We'll say car CHR grade one is equal to grade one. And then again, we'll put the value of the car grade one variable here. So here we're going to output car underscore grade one followed by an end line. And so with a grade of 47.25, we're expecting the grade one object instance here to be effectively turned into an F character when this assignment converts the grade one object to a car. So we'll save this and run it and we get an F. Let's try a different value. Let's try 73.84. That should be a B. We save it, we run it, and now we get a B. And we can also try one more thing. We'll try 93.22, and that should be an A. We save it, we run it, and now we get an A. So that's how we can convert a user-defined class type to a primitive type in C++. 
Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.